Hi, this is Al, your Camping Preparedness Pal. Today I'd like to go through some wind-resistant lighters. See how well they work in the wind. Stay tuned. Hi everyone. Today I got a couple of lighters from Walmart that say they're windproof, wind-resistant. Um, these are what they had there locally and I wanted to purchase these and try these out. Now, like for probably for most of you, I, my experience with lighters, especially when it comes to wind, isn't that good. I can't get things to light, especially like on the 4th of July when you're trying to light your fireworks, things like that, and the wind just blows it out. It's very frustrating to me. So, I have bought a couple of brands here that uh, we can see how they go. This Calico one, in fact, to be honest with you, I've never heard of it before. So, well, it's a cheap one. I noticed it doesn't have any refill for it, so it's a one-time use. It wasn't only a couple bucks. And then, of course, we have the Zippo lighter, and it's a windproof lighter. It has it takes the lighter fluid, and these lighters, they're, they're quite well known, or at least the Zippo brand is quite well known. And so, I've never owned one, so this will be interesting for me to try out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to going to fill this one and we're going to test you test this and I got a fan here now this fan doesn't put off a lot of air so if we can get this to stay lit with just that fan then I know we're doing pretty good and I'll even probably test blowing on it so first we'll go through the calico one and we'll open this up So we look it over, I don't see anything where you can refill it. It definitely it looks like butane. Okay. Well, there we go. Looks like it puts out a nice little flame. Now I just blew it out. That was kind of a, a breezy wind. I'm going to turn off. Well, okay, what I want to do first, though, I want to turn this fan on, but before I do it, I want to test it with this other lighter. I just got a cheap lighter, dollar dollar lighter, barely even lights. Like some most time I can't even get this thing to light. I've never really liked these brands at all. I even just refilled it too. And we might not even get it lit here. Let's keep trying this. Okay, there is a little flame. It's turned on the highest it will go. So I'm gonna turn this fan on. Well, we'll turn it on first. Let's restart it. Okay. It just went out. You probably can't even see it there, but it just went out. I can't even no way get this thing lit. Yeah, it, is, it doesn't even stay on. No way with that fan blowing. And that doesn't even feel like it's putting off any hardly any air. It'd be nice to kind of know what a the wind speed is on that, but it's just a small little fan. Okay, now here's this one. There we go. So now that's, you know, it's still putting a pretty big breeze there. Don't know where I put it at, but I can kind of get that thing to stay on. So there we go. The other one wouldn't even do that. See how close I can get to that. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's staying on. Okay. Not bad for a $2 one. Go ahead and turn this off for a moment. And we'll go ahead and do this slider. The Zippo brand. <laughs> okay. One thing I do like about the Zippo brand is it talks about it's made in the USA. Seems like most everything we have now is made in made in China. Made in the USA. So that's a positive thing. And it does come with instructions. And we'll read those. So 
So first we've got to refill it. So if we follow those directions we'll be able to uh, have that go. Now reading the instructions here, it does have a nice guarantee here. It looks like they say they have never been charged a cent for the repair of a zipper pocket light in regards to the age or condition. That's a pretty good re a promise guarantee there. Of course our test here is to see if it will be able to be windproof. That's what I'm hoping for. We'll take off the safety sticker here and we'll go ahead and pull that out. Now it tells us to, to lift that up. And that's where we're going to put the fuel in. Now I've just got, they say use Zippo lighter or lighter fluid or Ronsonal. That's how, if that's how you pronounce that. So we will go ahead and fill that with that. Now it says in the, in the directions to fill it till it's full to the top, but don't overfill it. If you overfill it, it could leak over and be an issue. Okay, I think I've got it pretty full, though I'm dripped some here, so there might be a better way of doing that. Yeah, didn't care for that. Lost a little bit there. I uh, just put that in wrong. We'll get this eventually. Okay, said wipe clean. So if we can get this baby to work. There we go. That took one one turn and it was going. So I'm gonna try to blow it out with my hand. Or I should <laughs> you know what I mean. My mouth. That seems to go out pretty easy. I don't know if I would say that's windproof or not. Every time I blow, it goes out. Unless there's something I'm not doing right. That lights up pretty nice, so... Okay, I'm going to turn this fan on. Now the fan is on. You can see it blowing. Maybe my mouth was blowing too much wind. Looks like if you get a little wind there, like I'm up right next to that. Amazingly, that's staying lit. Wow. Okay, well that's more impressive. I would have never thought that after blowing it out with my mouth. I would have thought that it would stay lit. But there we go. It's staying lit. Well, you saw both these lighters. I guess the real test would be in the field. The Zippo lighter and the calico lighter. It would be kind of nice if they made a, a nice one of these. And I know Zippo has a lot of different brands out there. And maybe we'll do a review on a, in a future brand that I think I saw it on. Yeah, here we go. It shows a hot product here. Candle lighters. So I don't know how well those work or if it's wind resistant or not. But... Looks like they're pretty nice lighters. So, there you have it. Two brands that seem to work okay, work pretty good. Uh, I look forward to trying out in the field. Thanks for watching.